welcome everyone to this revision lesson for your area of study. This video is aimed at Year 11 Advanced and Year 11 Standard students and will provide students with an overall summary of everything we've covered in this module as well as providing direction for further revision. So, how can you use your holiday effectively? There's nothing worse than getting to the end of a difficult term, having mastered the skills of that English topic, and then forgetting everything over the holidays. This is particularly important for your area of study, where so much of it is skills-based and based on mastering structure and then practicing this structure. So you really don't want to forget what you've studied during term over the holidays. We'll therefore review area of study skills to ensure that you have a continual reference point for reviewing area of study throughout your year. This checklist of learning material throughout the term will provide a way for you to continually look over your area of study while you're perhaps moving on with other modules in English because it's really important to continually go over old content instead of only focusing on new content and forgetting everything you've already done. So, this will include a review of past papers and practice exercises in order to achieve practice and therefore good results in your English exam. The area of study checklist will provide you with direction for your revision program. We begin with number one, the way in which you write the perfect thematic essay. Now we've been over this in the previous videos, but a quick summary. This will obviously include three to four area of study themes, which are sub-levels of your overall theme. It will include the structure which was given to you in the essay guide and which we practice through alternating your set text and your related materials. It also includes the state, explain and support format, which as we've been over, ensures that you not only include examples of language techniques, but back this up with quotes and then go on to explain the effect of this on your audience. The second element of this checklist is to write at least two pages of study notes on other area of study themes in your texts. So this means that you write an extra essay paragraphs which you can then add to your core essay. So while you've got your one main essay, these extra ideas mean you have a bit of flexibility when you write an essay at a later date. It also means you can insert these paragraphs into your core essay whenever it's suitable for the question. So it's going to be reducing your workload later and making sure you've recorded all your ideas while they're still fresh in your mind at the end of term. The third element is to write an extended list of extra quotes from your set text. This is really important because it means that you can go on to provide analysis and this can provide a really good skeleton structure for any future essays. So what you need to do is to write each quote down and then link it briefly to a language technique. This should be at least one page of extra quotes for your set text. And this is going to be an invaluable resource for you at later dates when perhaps you don't know your text quite as well because you're focusing on later modules and you can come back to this and really refresh your mind. Fourthly, you must write at least one creative story on your computer and then have plans for about two other stories. As we've discussed, it's really also useful to plan interesting characters, settings, themes, plots, every idea you can possibly think of, and jot it down in your creative writing story bank. This basically means that you have a really good resource for always referring back to, and that you can prepare things more easily and familiarly going into exams. The fifth element is to edit your core essay. Now obviously, as you move through this module, you're going to be changing your mind about exactly what the area of study means. And as you change and redevelop your ideas, this is going to lead to more sophisticated and refined work. So it's therefore really important that you always update your essay so that it reflects those sophisticated ideas which are going on in your mind. This is going to be obviously improved by practice and study. Mm -hmm. 